Welcome back. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. <laughs> if you hit the little bell notification button as well, you'll be notified of any new uploads. Today, we loaded the trailer up to go to the dump with the old fridge and the old washing machine that the previous owners left in the house. The dump's not open today. Well, it was. It was open this morning. It's not open this afternoon. So, we've taken the trailer off and we're going to take the dogs for a walk instead. Yeah, so this isn't really a Range Rover video yet again. We're still final sign in 17th of April. After that, I can guarantee we're going to have regular Range Rover videos. This is the best way to walk a dog, or walk two dogs, and Tina. <laughs> I'll get a slap for that later. <laughs> Yet again, walking the dogs in luxury. <laughs> the old chugger boom it's bloody lovely. I would prefer to walk myself, but anyway. Yeah, so not long now, we've got a couple more trips to do. The removals is on the 15th. I've probably told you all this before. You're probably getting sick to the back teeth of it. Um, I'm just trying to keep the videos going because when I put out regular content on the Range Rover, uh, my videos were getting pushed up. I was getting loads of subscribers. But now, because of what's happening with the move and everything, uh, I know I've got a few people that are following and watching all the other videos that we do which is very much appreciated um, but it just it's something to do with the algorithm on YouTube if you don't post you seem to get shuffled down to the bottom again so I'll just keep posting regular stuff although it's not very interesting for most of you but look at this weather 23 degrees we'll have some of that bring it on <coughs> I'll say we'll fire, fire the barbecue up but it's at the other house so yeah, um, I've got my eye on a nice new car. I was looking at a 3.6 TV V8, but it's just come up online 
at a Land Rover dealership this is a 4.4 TDV8 2012 and it is gorgeous it's like a like a gunmetally silver and it looks the part I'm just hoping that's still for sale when we were uh, when the funds have exchanged <coughs> but anyway if it's not there it's not there but yeah so I've sort of what do you do 3.6 4.4 a lot of people have recommended going for the 4.4 um, slightly better on you know on diesel you know fuel economy all that kind of thing it's a lot more powerful um, I don't really need all the power because we've well, seen the trailer it's not massive um, but after this old chugger boom 177 horsepower when it's new so this is a 2002 so 17 years old now um, it's only done 130,000 miles engines spot on really but the 4.4 is I think it's 313 horsepower or something like that that would be very nice <laughs> Not that we tear around in our cars, especially on roads like this. But it's just nice to waft along. So, <coughs> watch this space. <laughs> but yeah, this weather is gorgeous today. Uh, we've just been around the field. Um, I didn't catch it on camera, but down in at the other side of the house, you might have seen it on the, the like the drone footage and that there is what was like the formal garden, and I think it was very sort of ornamental, a lot of shrubs. Because the previous owners, I think, were ill for quite a while, it's just been left ivy, brambles. It's all grown. All the shrubs have just grown massive. So we was just down there having a bit of a, a planning meeting. Me and Tina, me and Tina, Tina and myself. <coughs> <coughs> so we're on about moving. There's a fence that runs all the way down the, the back, but all the trees have grown up through the fence. So I suggested we put a new fence in, which is sort of like 40 foot back, all the way down to the neighbour's fence. And then that'll give us enough room to pull all the old fence out, cut any trees, because there's a lot of trees that self seeded. Um, cut them down, dig all the roots out, get it all nice and then we can decide where the, the swimming pool is going to go because we're having a natural swimming pool, no chemicals. Um, I don't, chemicals, I get eczema and chemical, you know, these chlorine pools are all right. Um, friends of ours have a salt pool which was very good for my skin but a natural pool is going to be even better and for the wildlife as well. So we want a natural swimming pool out the back of the house, but down in the back of the field, Tina wants a wildlife pond because she's desperate to grow a willow tree over one. <laughs> so, being as I'm getting a nice new Range Rover and a mini digger, I can't really say no to a little wildlife pond. But it'd be nice down there. You know, you get all the your frogs and your newts and stuff. You will get wildlife in the natural swimming pool. Um, how much, I'm not sure, because obviously there's a lot more activity in a swimming pool with people jumping in and swimming about. Uh, the wildlife might not like a lot of that, so they might venture down to the wildlife pond. Um, I'm not sure if... With the natural swimming pool, we're going to do it properly with proper liner. But with the wildlife pond, I'm not sure if we're going to, if we dig deep enough, we'll get to water. Um, <coughs> it's possible. If not, <coughs> we'll have to put some liner in on the wildlife pond as well. Um, it's not ideal because you've got to design it right because if the dogs end up going in it, they put their bleeding claws for it. I know it's quite tough stuff, but uh, yeah, we'll have to get our thinking caps on with that one. But anyway, that's all projects for a long time down the road. So some of the next projects are gonna be on the old chugger boom, um, which I know you're all eagerly anticipating, uh, get this workshop done and that. And uh, 
I shall get a list and then I shall, once we do that I shall be releasing videos on a regular basis so probably two a week um, I'll look at the analytics and see when most people are watching videos and then I'll ask you lot when you want to see them and we'll take it from there <laughs> so for now that's about it so I hope you like this video please click the thumbs up that all helps subscribe if you haven't already and for me and Tina over there doing something with the dogs it's bye for now